On the blue line, we have Pyro from ASU. Blue lines, are you ready? Yup. Red line, are you guys ready? Autonomous begins in three, two, one, go. Both sides immediately moving. GCU gets one over to that red line. So Pyro just slamming them over with their wind, but they're all stuck in that alley, getting more points for that red system zone. It's a slow but steady atomic period for that Pyro team, as they continue to match load until around 10 seconds or less. Oh, never mind. Pyro's driving over. That's a lot of travel into that blue offensive zone. Will that be enough to win them this atomic period? Blue takes the miss, drives control in three, two, one, go. Pyro immediately unfolding their wedges, wedging the travel all over to that blue offensive zone. Pyro getting a big goal, a big push into that blue goal. How many travels will they get in there? That's two for now, but there's still a lot back into the position for. Right on the line, past it, I don't see how that happens, but right now they're high fighters. There's nothing they can do about it. 50 seconds left, Pyro is pushing the remaining 5 travel into that blue goal. They get all of them in, that's a lot of points for that blue line. 40 seconds left, both Pyro rides are speedily running past the field. They're very good at moving, they're very good at pushing. They can do almost everything needed in this game. GCU trying to unset themselves, but it looks like they've high centered themselves even more. They're running into intake. And they tip all the way back oh! over and they're back on track. With 20 seconds left, will this make a difference for the right line? Will they be able to make a comeback? 15 seconds left, Pyro pushes yet another one into that blue pepper goal. It looks like the other Pyro one is high center across that barrier. They cannot get off, but it looks like they still win this match anyway. Four seconds left. I think Blue has this one in the bag, and that's the game.